Hello, Captains. Your host, Brent Justice, here. Welcome to my channel, Just Gaming for Us. I am continuing the Borg Resurgence event. These are three remastered Borg TFOs in Star Trek Online. In the last video, I did Infected Space Conduit. And now we are going to do Kittimer Vortex. I am doing all of these on normal first so we can see the differences, and then I will do advanced and elite versions. So it's time to do the normal version of Kittimer Vortex. And again, we're going to listen to and pay attention to new dialogue and voice acting that is in the game for these things. So Kittimer Vortex, normal, let's hit it. Same setup as the previous video. I'm on my main character, the Doctor. I have the Discovery ship. It's a science ship, science character. Let's hit this. I am familiar with Kittimer Vortex. Pretty fun if you do it right. It, you can mess up in it pretty big if you let probes get through. And um, it can take a while if you don't spread out and do things. But we'll see what this is like. Again, it's a pug. This there could go good or bad. We'll see. Conduits in this system, along with a stable spatial rift, which is emitting chroniton particles. The Borg have been known to use time travel. In 2373, the USS Enterprise E followed a Borg cube through such a rift to Earth's first contact with the Vulcans. My grandfather was there. He said it was... memorable. So, this could be another attempt by the Borg to alter the past. The spatial rift will require further study before we can shut it down. Until then, our best option is to neutralize the transwarp conduits in order to stem the flow of Borg into the system. The conduits are protected by nanite transformers. Those are protected by nanite generators. Eliminating the generators first will allow us to destroy the transformers. Only then will the conduits be vulnerable. The Borg are sure to send reinforcements. They may attempt to use the temporal anomaly. That will not be acceptable. Stop them at all costs. Okay, that's the new dialogue we have here. Pretty long dialogue. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Four probes are headed for the time vortex. Stop them. Again, they highlight the nanite generators so that you know you have to take those out. Target shields have failed. Your defensive capabilities are unable to withstand us. Lower your shields and await assimilation. Okay, now we take down the um, this generator here. Hopefully people are doing their part. Hard to know what everybody's doing, I guess, but... Okay, alright, looks like we got that side down. I don't know if probes have gotten through or not. I haven't been watching, but it looks like maybe we're okay. 
it le it highlights the probes too to let you know I can't select it. Oh, okay, that was f just floating out there. That was weird. Everyone did kind of go to one side on this. Okay, doing pretty good so far. I don't see any major changes, I just really don't. Seems to be pretty standard. Par for the course. There we go. I drew all those probes up there with my um, gravity well. I have a pretty powerful gravity well. That's nice. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. Okay, so far, so far, similar. They might have cleaned up the space a little bit, the planets. See, while all the dialogue is going on, I can't they know fight. The Romulans have experimented with Borg technology, but they haven't been able to create anything like this. Incoming hail. The unidentified vessel. Oh. See, the, the dialogue's a little too much, because while all that's happening, everybody's fighting the enemy, and I'm... I'm missing the battle. <laughs> no one's gonna wait and listen to all that dialogue. No one's gonna sit there and listen to Donatra talk. They're just gonna fight like they're doing now. So that dialogue is a little misplaced, I think. It's um, not like they're gonna sit there, wait and wait, you know. Looks like we have probes that keep popping up over here too though. Grr. Yeah, probes keep popping up out 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 there. I don't know if that's new or not. During the Denatra battle. Used to be that they didn't do that. You just had the, the, the uh, Donatra battle. Your 
defensive capabilities are unable to withstand us. Lower your shields and await assimilation. Got her. Gone. Scimitar has been destroyed, but sensors detected several escape pods entering the uh -oh. vortex. Uh-oh. Guess we missed some. As much as I hate to say it, I do not think we have seen the last of Denatra of Borg. We must remain vigilant. Okay, I guess we missed some, but let's see. Destroy the transform conduits and defeat Denatra 35 out of 35. Borg probes use time vortex 0 out of 5, 10, 10 marks. Well, maybe we didn't miss them. I'm not sure. That dialogue's a little confusing. Complete mission and time allotted 10, 10. Okay, we got all our marks, so maybe we did not miss any probes, but they say that we did anyway. I don't know. Scimitar has been destroyed, but sensors detected... So what I see is maybe they cleared up some of the space here. The planets look a little clearer. I don't know. They're, they're there. Maybe a little more populated in this area. They kind of cleared that up. I'm not sh I'm not really sure. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played Vortex. Um, pretty much played the same way. Again, they highlighted the little nanites you got to take out with the little red circle. That's nice. But otherwise, I mean, the whole thing played out exactly the same as I remember. Um, the dialogue, a little bit heavy-handed, is very long up front, which is okay because they give you a minute before you go into battle, but not when you fight Donatra. When she pops up, the, di the three dialogue boxes or whatever you have to go through there are pretty long, and nobody's going to sit around and listen to that and just let the Donatra sit out there. They're going to start attacking as soon as she appears, so nobody's going to wait for you to listen to all that dialogue. So that's a little bit thick in that area. They could probably wean that down. It's not really necessary once she pops up. Anyway, that's about my only complaint with that. But otherwise, I didn't notice any big differences. I mean, am I just not seeing them? I don't know. Let me know if you see them. But um, it looks very similar to me. Not a whole lot really different there. Okay, still fun though. All right, well, that was Kittimer Vortex Space. Let's get out of here. Let me know what you think of that one in the comments below for the remastered version. Again, I will play it on Advanced and Elite, just not right now. But uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore Justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent Justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.